Hi guys, my name is Noelle. Thank you for clicking on my video. Um, today I'm going to be sharing a little painting that I um, made a little while ago and it's actually right here behind me so you get a little sneak peek um, of the completed piece. But uh, yeah, so I just did like a time lapse video of making this piece. I was definitely thinking about like the juggling act of making art and wanting to kind of grasp that creative energy or vibe that kind of comes over and just this inspiration so sometimes I want to like be able to catch it and do it before I run out of time and so I, I try to do like back to back making the painting because sometimes if I wait too long it like I lose the vibe I'm going for so in this one I wanted to really get those colors down really good um, mixing those um, the palette I was kind of proud of how I did this one with like having it organized. I feel like so much, so many things in my life are not that way, but it feels good to get some organization down. And so I kind of got those colors um, nice and good and I just jumped right in. Uh, this piece I made shortly after some other cave pictures and I've been inspired to make cave paintings uh, just because something about me just loves the idea of just kind of curling up and hiding um and then like i kind of always never really felt quite a part of the world like the bible talks about being in the world but not of the world and it also talks about some prophets of old hiding in caves and, and holes in the ground to get away from people because the world did not understand them and yeah, so that's kind of a little bit of a background of the theme of um, what I, why I'm painting caves. And I also, on top of that, I just think there is so much freedom in um, the, the shapes and textures and um, ability for like what can happen, how caves can look and the colors. And I just, I love the ability to just jump in in the fantasy style of it. Um, yeah, so I love, um, I just, I use a lot of like flat brushes, uh, I just use a variety, I had some new, newer ones on this one, but yeah, I just jumped in and started painting it completely out of my imagination. Um, sometimes I look at pictures, but with the kind of work I'm doing, I, I just really, it's more so kind of like it's kind of like a muscle like I feel like in my brain there's like creative muscle that I want to exercise and um, if I'm able to just do it completely out of my imagination I'm able to focus more on composition and flow and um, repeated shapes and just having balance in the piece and so I just kind of wanted to have fun with it as you can tell there's a lot of messy stages um, or maybe you can't tell but I can see that this painting definitely went through a lot of like messy stages with trying to get those shapes and um, elements of design and composition down to a point where I'm happy. Um, I think a lot of times like in nature there's like such a kind of randomness to how things flow and I um, you'll see like something that kind of like doesn't like in nature there's sort of like an imperfect perfection um, however in my paintings I love the ability to kind of make a kind of eliminate those imperfect perfections and trying to make it but it's I'm not saying my work is perfect but still kind of like trying to venture to make it a little bit more balanced than it would be in nature so I would say my work is a little bit more surrealist rather than realism like and I've always never been super interested in doing just straight like landscapes um, just for the reasons of the colors like I love nature I'm touch definitely like a nature junkie and like going out and well I don't know if I to a certain point <laughs> I'm a little bit of a wimp when it comes to heat and cold and stuff like that but um, generally speaking I love nature and so I feel like the caves were a good balance of nature but also just being able to jump into that fantastical like kind of style and look that I'm going for and the colors like um uh, not too long ago I kind of just really embraced just painting and using colors that I like and I don't need to use local colors so like local colors there's 
if you're not familiar, is um, painting things based on like what they actually are. So like you think an apple is red, um, but in reality, um, an apple, if it's sitting on a blue table, that apple all of a sudden becomes somewhat blue because there's light reflecting off onto the apple. And if you're doing like still life studies, you're gonna see those colors. Like there's so many other colors than just the local color red. And um, I think sometimes it's so much more interesting to paint a blue apple than a red apple. And um, I get bored so easy sometimes. So I, um, I just want to have fun with the colors and just paint what interests me. And I'm also just wanting to embrace like, if I get stuck with a painting, if no one buys it, I want to enjoy looking at it, you know? So that's kind of what um, I've been sort of aiming for with um, just painting the colors I like and I, I know it seems so simple and for a lot of people that's like no biggie like just do what you want but for me and um, maybe some of you out there there's kind of this tendency to want to paint like what people enjoy and what what you think like the the mass um, amount of the mass majority of people would like but I think it's um that's such a like a sad place to be in because you'll find at least I found that my creativity was so quenched and my true self wasn't really shining forth and I was so focused on trying to make art that I thought people, um, in particular th those that were closest in my life, would enjoy um, using colors that were a little bit more maybe like not as girly colors. Like I really love the color pink and purple and you'll see like in the background here I've kind of been on the venture of like painting what I enjoy for a little bit now and I, I'm just so much more happy like enjoying seeing the art on my walls um and before like i feel like it was there but it was just like kind of quenched you know so with this one um i did have some struggles painting um when it came to creating that depth and i wanted to do like layers like drawing the eye in but i did kind of get to a few awkward stages where the colors didn't like i was really frustrated with it i felt like i wanted to just start over and I really use this painting as somewhat of like a practice, um, wanting to um, like just get some more practice painting these caves. Um, and so I wasn't getting so uptight about like it has to be like a masterpiece, but I still got a little bit frustrated and wanted to um, get a sip of my tea. Um, yeah, so for a while, like I saw it finished on the wall and I just wasn't happy with how how I had orange like further in the back and then the pink kind of closer. I know there's, they're both like warmer colors, but you see that warm colors actually are closer and I feel like orange is a warmer color. So I felt like they should have been reversed. Like maybe the purple should have been in the distance more and the orange should have been closer. And I also wasn't even wanting orange per se. It just kind of happened. I also felt like the colors got a little bit mucked up. But, all that being said, I had it sitting on my wall for a while, and the more I looked at it, I just started really appreciating and being so much more happy with it. I think another thing that I was struggling with about not being content with this piece was I had um, recently like put some artwork into a competition, and one of them was a cave. One of them was a cave. Actually, two of them were caves, and they both were rejected from the competition, competition so I had some level of like just like insecurity of like what I was painting and wondering if it was even like good and, and so sometimes when you have that like clenched up like uh, like stress a little bit stressed when you're painting you end up like being more critical of it or something um but yeah so I I mean I worked it out in the end and it was difficult but also really I'm pretty fun you know I'm happy with the foreground rocks and all that so um yeah, another super cool thing about this painting that I didn't anticipate was I had another painting of a warrior princess, not this one, um, one that I haven't showed you guys yet, that I actually um, used this painting um, as an example of like the background. So that was really cool how um, I like painted it in and I had that, that example I could already use. But other than that, yeah, that's basically this painting and a little bit of the story and just hearing me talk and rant while I drink my tea. And I thank you so much for clicking on my video. I really enjoyed this time and I hope you all have a wonderful day. 
God bless you all. Love you. Bye.